Hi guys. And Hello, what's your name? Hello, uh, what's your name? My name is Max. I'm Mayor. Sir Max. Hi Max. Sir Max. Hi, Max. Hello Max. <laughs> Wrangler. Are you? Okay, so I've had a, a, a great opportunity to speak with a lot of uh, a lot of cops in the last week or so. So I want to first of all, uh, I didn't get to speak to everyone in this room. I do recognize a lot of you. Uh, so thank you very much for speaking to me and taking those those hours, sometimes two hours, or in Fenwell's case, four hours. Dude, why should we Lenny and he's multi-boxing? He's going to be dual boxing. Uh, means a lot to you for applause. Yeah, I, wait, I waited. I waited for no one. No one applauded. I, I was like, interrupted yeah. that by showing you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We love Duncan, uh, though. Yeah, me too. Uh, Fenwell's great. Uh, it, the thing that I discovered is that all of you are fucking great. Actually, to such a surprising degree that my own opinion on police officers in general, which is not very good, uh, has changed to such a degree that I no longer am instantly nauseated when I look at you. Uh, instead, I see a group of determined, honest, uh, straight-shooting, dedicated warriors. It is, it is with great pleasure, after conferring with the state, that we have come to a conclusion on who will lead the future of the LSPD as chief of police. Ooh. Yeah, I hope he milks it. It'll be funny. Got any ideas, guys? Kale Soze. Just shout out a name. Shout out a name if you, if you, if you, uh, mm. if you think you got it. Go, go, Fenwell! Hey, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Sam Bass's ghost. <laughs> McNulty. <laughs> That'd be a good one. All right. Eric? All right. Wait, is the person uh, in this right, room? Uh, yes, actually. Ooh, Ooh. it's me. Uh, it could be. Could be. Respectfully, I decline. Well, Mr. Uh, Oren, right? Uh, you were not up for selection. Well, shit. Okay. Next time. <laughs> Listen, this decision was hard for me because I was given a choice. I brought forth two names, two exceptional police officers who who possess a such a keen understanding Ruby of and Barrick and of their of their brothers and sisters in the LSPD. I wonder if they see Barrick. It was if almost impossible for me to make I think Barrick might decline. And in fact, it was probably one of the hardest decisions I've made in a long time. The person that I chose after being told by the state that, look, these two people are great, make your pick, is Mr. Barrick Johnson. All right, Woo! let's go. Let's go, Barrick! Uh, Hell yeah! Speech, speech, speech. Barrick, just so we're all clear, there's an amendment to the legislation as of the latest meeting an hour ago. Uh, congrats, buddy. You get to pick your assistant chief. Oh. Yep. Oh, oh that, that, yeah. that's a, that's an important important distinction. Uh, I spoke with oh. Lance Malton about this. Uh, originally, the plan was to pick the chief and ass chief, in which case I would have picked both of those motherfuckers. I'm just gonna say it right now because I feel it would not be doing her justice. Uh, the 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 one I did not choose for chief was Miss Ruby York. Yeah, uh, buddy. Uh, Absolutely. Ruby. Ruby. Yeah. It, it was close, and uh, with consideration to uh, conversations that I had with Lance Malton. And this is not to detract from Let's your ability to at all. Um, I'm so glad, fact, dude, because those are my two. Uh, because you are better at speaking to people and at administrative things that I just I don't think that's what the LSPD needs right now. Um, we uh, we need a uh, how did Lance put it? Someone who can galvanize the troops on a uh, daily basis. Uh, that's my choice. I have the absolute faith in you. Please come give a speech. Let's go, Barrick. Let's go, Barrick. Hey. Betty? Let's go. Well, listen, I'm not going to... It's going to be hard to come over so, with uh, with words, if I'm entirely honest. What I can say just off the top of my head and off my heart is that I will do everything within my power, not only as an officer, but as a person, to bring us all together as best as I can and give us all the tools and assets and anything that we might need to see us into the future and to ensure the longevity prosperity and success of not only this police department but any departments we might have in the future let's best serve everybody as best we can and i might not know everybody on a first name basis but i promise you that is that is going to change that is going to change today tomorrow this week next week however long it takes i'm going to get to know each and every single one each and every single one of you within this shift Within shift two, within shift one, and I will be around 
in all three throughout the week. You'll never not, there will not be a week where you, that goes by that you do not see me. Take any feedback. That I'm you so might happy have. for Barrick, dude. I'll do everything in my power to ensure, as I said before, our success going forward and just each and every one of you. Yes, Duncan. <laughs> you have to go to a senior who would go to the captain who would then go to you. I mean, that's yeah, chain of command, baby. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Chain of command. You, <laughs> what you know, some things. <laughs> I, I'm not going to give an example of this because I'd, I'd be hard pressed to come up with one. But if it's something to do with Slags, the police no, department, Slags is like, yeah, you got to follow God. chain of command. <laughs> Slacks like thank God. But if it's something else, just, <laughs> you know, Slags. you know, person to person, you can come straight to me. All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Barrick, let's go! Um, okay, okay. Good oh, shit, oh. Chief! When are we okay. getting helicopters? Uh, uh, thank you to everyone, once again, for speaking with me. Uh, congratulations to Barrick. Uh, I would, I, I, I issue a congratulations with a heavy heart because your job is not an easy one, uh, by a long shot. And I, I'm sure there are some people in this room who understand that um, better than others. Okay. Um, and as Chief of Police, you have your first assignment. What's that? Fire roof. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that. Okay, so okay. we are pleased to learn that all of you. Uh, I, I, Matt Road showcased uh, something to me that was a bit troubling. Uh, maybe it was maybe it was a week ago now. Remember when uh, you pulled up in that uh, that CVPI, or it, maybe it was a Taurus even. It was shutting off after moving for maybe like five seconds or whatever. Your guys, your guys' engines uh, in the motor pool, I guess, were uh, just completely eviscerated. And I've received a, a lot of reports that you guys, you guys get like 800 an hour. You know, you barely can't. You. Know, uh, uh, you uh, what was the figure you quoted, Rhodes, about the uh, how much money you would have to make? Oh, or in the well, uh, I think officers on average need to work about three hours for just a general maintenance repair. Well, the first assignment from the state, uh, Mr. Chief of Police, is to open up your phone, hit that big eye in the top left, tell the uh, tell the uh, the people here how much money you have in your bank account. Forty two thousand one hundred and thirty one dollars and zero cents. All right, you're rich, bear. And now everyone else, Cornwood. <laughs> <laughs> 288. <laughs> Jesus oh Christ. Oh my. Uh, bones. 22,000. Uh, McDulty. <laughs> I mean, I just bought a house, but. $24,840. Minus Damn, 100. Okay. Uh, this is a transfer from the state account to the, P the PD account to pay for your engine repairs. As you can see, almost everyone in this room had enough money to replace an engine in that motor pool. So tell me why we were the ones to give you money when you could have easily banded together in order to accomplish this goal yourselves. Unfortunately, for all of you, you have one week to pay this money back to the state. And I, uh, if you do not, if you do not, there will be interest of 15% per week until we get that money back. Mr. Mayor, uh, can I ask uh, how much money is in the uh, state account? $40 million in climate. Yeah. And we're being hassled for 300K, that's like 3%. Hey, I don't make the rules, guys. I I'm just clarify, I'm I'm clarify. just coming on down and passing orders on. Why is he smiling? Let smiling. me clarify something, if I may, Mr. Mayor. The directive from the state to all government agencies, EMS, PD, whoever, is that we are to earn our own way. So when it comes to a person out on the street, a civilian working for grime, and that person decides they're going to reinvest their income to buy the bigger, better truck so they can earn more money, thus will be the same way for the PD. If you want to drive the bigger, faster car to catch the bigger, faster cars, then you work towards buying that bigger, faster car. You can do it as a group, you can do it as an individual, it is what it is. You guys wouldn't put that burden on your chief, right? Surely all of you would be willing to chip in to pay back that $25,000. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, Cornwood, you know, you, you, you have already done more than enough for this department. Can I ask who signed off on the loan or was it just thrown upon us? Uh, it wasn't a loan when we asked for it. We asked for it as, you know, as a budget. But, Slacks, was I very clear with you in the past that there were going to be no disbursements from the state? Uh, yes. And, okay, um, so then why was, it, why was it requested of the treasurer? Well, I mean, I, I thought I was going to get funding for the, for the shared vehicles. I'll pay it no. back all myself. I requested it. I'll, no, no, I'll no, 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 no. Listen, we'll figure no, this I'm out. No, I'm Spartacus. That ain't happening. Base. Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. But if nobody has anything else, then uh, you're all dismissed. Who's your and ass chief? I'll, uh, I'll have more on that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, I think it should take time to do I'll that. have more on that tomorrow. Hey, Corwin. Well, there you go. You did it. Yeah, I don't know what I've done exactly, but we'll see. Hey, right place, right time. Shit. <laughs> yeah. sometimes, hey, sometimes that's what you do. I think you earned it. Joking aside.
So how, how do you how do you feel about everything? Um, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of thoughts going through my head. Uh, best I, way I can describe it is my head is a computer with 14 tabs open, and I'm not sure which one the music is coming from. But we're gonna fi we're gonna figure things out. Yeah, no, hey, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, where we are, we are gonna figure things out. It's gonna be really damn good. Cramp filled land.